Let's solve a deceptively simple problem that shows up in interviews. We will use a fast and elegant pattern that you can apply to many other problems. Given an array, write a function that segregates even and odd numbers. The function should put all even numbers first and then odd numbers. For example, consider the following array. A valid output would be this array or even this one. As long as all even numbers appear before any odd numbers, the order among evens or among odds doesn't matter. We also want to do it in one pass without using extra space. The technique or the algorithm we will use to two-way partition this array is the same idea used in quicksort and quickselect, which makes it an essential algorithm to learn. We will use a two-pointer approach to solve this problem. We place pointer i at negative 1 and pointer j at 0. As the function runs, it partitions the array into three logical reasons. Let's say the pointers i and j are currently here. All elements from index 0 up to index i are guaranteed to be even. All elements between i plus 1 and j minus 1 are odd. And everything from j onward is unclassified. We haven't quite decided where they belong yet. That's our loop invariant, and here is how we maintain it. We move index j forward till we find an even number. Once we do, we increment index i by 1. Then we swap the elements at i and j. We do this for all the elements of the array, and by the time the loop ends, the array is perfectly partitioned, evens in the front, odds in the back. This way of partitioning where elements meeting the criteria go left and those that don't go right is clean, efficient, and surprisingly powerful. Let's walk through this example. Pointer j points to an odd number, so we move it forward. Now j points to 0, and that's an even number. We move i forward by 1 and swap the elements at i and j. j moves to the next element 2, still an even number. So again, we step i forward and swap the elements at i and j. j moves to the next element 3, that is odd, so we skip it. Next is 4, and that is even. We move i to the next position and swap once again. Now j moves to the next element 5, that is odd. After that, we exit the loop and we are done. Let's examine the code. We loop through the array from j is equal to 0 to length of array minus 1. If the element at j is even, we move index i one step forward to expand the even region. Then we swap the values at index i and j. And finally, we return the updated array. 